This video looks at a quick way to convert numbers and decimals into fractions. Now, if you've got a number, then each part of the number has a certain size. So we've got hundreds, tens and units. So hundreds, tens and units. But in a similar way, the decimal part also does. So we've got hundreds, tens and units. The first column you come to is tenths. Then the next column you come to is hundredths. And the third column is thousandths. And so on and so forth. So if you're given a number, you can work out what column the decimal actually refers to. So 0 0.3 has got 3 in the tenths column. So that's the tenths column. So 0 0.3 must be 3 tenths. Because there is a 3 in the tenths column. So 0 0.28, that's got two columns there. It's got tenths and it's got hundredths. Now you look at the furthest most column to the right, so therefore this number is over 100. And all you do is, you say it is 28 hundredths. Now this also cancels down, we can divide it by 2, so that's 14 fiftieths, and I can divide by 2 again, that's 7 over 25. So, the golden rule. We look at the columns, so tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Right, we look for the furthest most column to the right, that's thousandths. So this is over a thousand. And we've got zero, zero, four, so it's four thousandths. This also cancels down, I can divide by two, so two over five hundred. And I can then divide by two again, so one over. 250. So the final one, we've got units, tenths and hundredths, so it's over 100. It's then just 321, so 321. Now this could be written as a mixed number because there are three lots of a hundred in 321. So three lots of a hundred in 321 remained a 21. So three and 21 over a hundred. So that could be written as a mixed number.